Hi, it's Dr. Centeno, and uh, let's talk about how you measure a Chiari malformation and what grade that corresponds to. So as you can see here, we have uh, a patient, and this is the uh, brain stem here. This is the cerebellum. This is a side view or a sagittal. Now, as I scroll, scroll across the sagittal and I come to one of the middle slices, I can draw a line across the uh, frame of magnum, which is really just a big hole in the bottom of the skull. And where I put that line is pretty important. I don't want to, uh, I want to put it right past uh, the change in color here, right? This is light uh, bone marrow, and then you see the dark cortex. And I want to put it just past that um, and then I want to put the other side um, at the bottom of the basion here. Now, I could put it all the way down here, but that's a bone spur, I know from clinical experience. So I'm going to want to put it uh, like right where the triangle here ends. And then all I want to do is take another line now and drop it down from that uh, perpendicular to the bottom of the cerebellar tonsil here. And so this one measures 3.3 millimeters. That means that uh, that's a Chiari zero or CTE. But what would happen if um, this was all the way down here? Well, then obviously our line would go all the way down there and that's now 12 millimeters. Uh, so that's a Chiari one. Now, the difference between Chiari 0 or CTE and Chiari 1, uh, again, uh, CTE or Chiari 0 is less than 5 millimeters, uh, Chiari 1 uh, more than 5 millimeters, and then there are other qualifications for Chiari 2, etc. But you can determine, again, either no Chiari or Chiari 0 or Chiari 1 by looking at the MRI as shown. Hopefully this helps. And thanks so much and have a great day. Hey, get this out to more patients by like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks so much.